In this video, we'll be covering a simple configuration of source properties. We'll only be focusing on the one-way IR um, as it pertains to the Pro R series. To begin, you'll need to open your Pro Control Studio. Right now, I already have my ProLink R, my Pro 24, my iPad, and some control devices um, already programmed in the window. Um, to start, what I want to do is I want to go to my ProLink R and under the properties, I'm going to name my ports to line up with the control devices or sources that, as I like to call them, that we're using. So the first we'll do is Blu-ray. And then the next we're going to do our Apple TV. For port three, we're going to go ahead and we're going to name that Samsung TV. And for port four, that's going to be the Panasonic uh, TV. Now that we have everything named, let's go click on our Blu-ray player and we're going to look at our source properties. Right here, when we look at the source properties, it's going to tell us a few things. Uh, for infrared, first question is going to ask us, do we want to send it from the processor or do we want it to come out of the front of the handheld? Um, in this case, we do want it to come from the processor. And then uh, for port one, we'll see Blu-ray. So we will want it to fire off of that port one. So we'll have this as yes. And we're going to select the rest is no because you can choose to fire on all ports if you don't have any like devices it's really not going to do too much harm but in a rare circumstance where there's some interference or some crosstalk uh, it's best to just um, one ir emitter per um, per device is, is what i like to do it and then you here you can also set your minimum repeats uh, right now the default is two that's fine i just leave it like that and then we'll go down to the Apple, the same thing again. We want it to fire from the processor. This time we're going to select no for Blu-ray, no for Samsung, no for Panasonic. And we just go right down the list to Samsung TV, no for Blu-ray, no for Apple TV, and no for Panasonic. And then finally, uh, it's just a no for Blu-ray, no for Apple TV, and a no for Samsung. So a really, really simple configuration. Well, I clicked off that soon simple configuration here um, if you get into rs232 and drivers there's a little more things that you'll need to configure but that will be in our advanced video and we'll cover that in a later time uh, but this is basically the very simple to do very simple to configure just as long as you name everything correctly uh, very very easy thanks for watching guys